How am I looking? Great. Prime time. Let me toast the light steps in the building. You know it gets lighted up, you know what I mean? Lit up. Wow, English. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I expected this for free. That's the point. Although they don't mind seeing you on top, they don't want to be left behind. Who's a green eyed monster? It's, called, it's jealousy, it's a saying for jealousy. I'm not British. There's gonna be so many times where you're gonna feel isolated. Do you <laughs> Is that right? Oh wow. Intro. Everything Chris. I was so finished. She just literally like, oh you pimped, you pimped my equipment up. Pimped it up. I don't know what the hell I've been filming all this while, but I'm sure you guys can even see the difference. You toasted lighty steps in the building. You know it gets lighted up, you know what I mean? Lit up. Wow, English. <laughs> Okay, so hi guys, welcome to the My Chuck Show. So we have a special guest here today. Would you like to introduce yourself? Just in case you don't know him already. My name is Josiah Hyacinth, mm -hmm. Mr. 200 Meters, as you know me on YouTube. Why did you have to emphasize and the Twitter, higher? Because that's what I'm saying, higher in it. <laughs> higher. Mr. 200 Meters on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Wonderful. And I'm not this short. <laughs> She just decided to put me in the lower chair. Yeah, because he's really tall and I would I didn't want to look like a midget next to him because this is a higher chair, so yeah. Okay guys, so it is a new year and this video might be a bit late, but you know, better late than never. And for me, the ideas that I've sort of been getting in terms of what I want this year to be like, I feel like I want 2017 to be the year of support, good vibes and happiness. Um, I don't know about you guys, but those are my three main things. What about you, Josiah? This year is my year of solidifying every move I made in 2016. Ah, of, you got um, on your nose. Or is it? Dry skin. I made it worse, sorry. And uh, it's the year of um, focus, really. That's, I haven't really thought about it. I haven't really said Kinda a like resolution. Kind of like what you did to my camera. Huh? Focus. You like it? <laughs> yeah. What support is? Like... If you do. <laughs> I don't, how, that is a hard question. It is quite difficult to define just, actually. Yeah, support for a friend would just be to be there to, to correct them, to help them grow. To be that person that is not like everybody else. Okay. So if I do something wrong, sit me down and tell me yeah. why that I might have been wrong. Mm -hmm. Much like your father, but on a more like friendly, friendly level. Friendly level, feel me. Like, the reason why I really wanted to do this video as well is that what I've noticed is that everybody seems really like pumped up for 2017. I feel like support is that little thing that goes a long way when you are trying to, you know, chase your dreams. I know you've been chasing your dreams a little bit so far. So what do you feel like you've encountered in terms of support so far? Like what kind of people have you met? I've met a lot of people that don't really care about me growing. Wow. Um, in terms of everybody yes. like, for me, because I'm somewhat known to an extent, everybody wants to be your friend. Mm. But nobody wants to see you grow right. in all actuality. So, for example, so I started photography, videography, mm -hmm. um, and when I started to charge people, mm. because I'm in a position where I should start charging, yeah, yeah? Mm -hmm. certain people then start to shuffle. It, like, oh, I, like someone must have made a statement to me, and she knows who she is. I wow. add people all the time. <laughs> she must have said to me, "Not gonna lie, I expected this for free." Like, it's not a bad thing because I know you. I will do it for you for free, mm. but respect me enough to. Just, just not to expect that from me. Respect it's, my hustle. Exactly. So, there's like been two or three, four. Like, let's say like a group of people. Let's say like a little family, like five yeah. people mm -hmm. that have actually supported me. And so, if they can't financially support me, which is not me demanding that yeah. of them, they uh -huh. just support me. So, I have an idea. They will criticize the idea. They will break down the idea. Is it worth it? Cool. If it's worth it, let's run with it. Mm -hmm. If it's not, let's not do it. You know, you will meet people that when you originally talk about an idea, especially if it's innovative and no one's ever done it before, maybe the way you want to do it, people kind of look down on it or people are very quick to say, oh, that might not work. True. And you've got to just be careful in terms of like who you listen to. Mm -hmm. Like I know it's important to talk to your friends and I know it's important to take on board ideas and criticism, but I feel like you need to filter out, like, is this actually something that is going to make me better? Whilst being humble at the same time, to be able to take on board those things that will eventually help you. I do agree with you when you say that, oh, some people don't necessarily want you to grow. 
and I feel like that is really it's so bad it's bad because like it's what it is but I think people expect you to be like for me I'm just fun and I'm a joke I'm a joke mm. all the time people expect me to be like this all the time but I have a very serious side and I mm. know what's going on behind the scenes yeah and it's like people don't realize that if you're not a focused person you could have a friend that's just like myself and yeah. you could end up be laughing along with them yeah. and then you just end up in a position where you've got nothing, nothing yeah. for yourself um, as much as I feel like there's certain people that I feel like it's more about how much you've pumped into my dream for me to now give you freebies mm. if that makes sense there's some people that I would not charge for anything mm -hmm. and there's some people that I'm sorry you were not there when I worked my night shifts Literally. to be able to afford the things I, have, I could afford now to build and grow my craft so I feel like it's it's a bit insulting when people come and ask for freebies especially when you started making yeah. money from something exactly. Exactly. you know like yes we're friends and yes I do wanna you know you know okay say we're rich and famous and say you were a singer of course you give your friend backstage pa passes every now and again yeah. well, you wouldn't <laughs> I would, but if they if, if they expect it from me, that's when I would just say no. Nah, mm. Never in your life, at any stage of life I am, don't expect anything. I feel like there should be perks though. Yeah, there perks of be. being friends of the superstar. Definitely, definitely. But I could even have a friend that's not put anything into it. Mm. They've just been on the side like, oh, mm. oh, I'm so proud of you. That like, is still putting something yeah, in. They're just there for you. Yeah. Like they, they even just could listen to you when you're mm -hmm. going through the downsides of your mm -hmm, business mm -hmm. or whatever. Those are the friends I would say, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Like come along, man. Do you know what I mean? Like you were there. Come. Other people just don't expect. I just hate expectancy. Yeah. yeah. Every aspect of life and expect certain things mm. if i'm married yeah there's a different expectancy my wife yeah. can have of me what do you marriage coming to this true. <laughs> there's a different expectancy my wife can have of yeah. me than my friend your friend okay and cool. there's different levels of friends no i totally get that mm. so let's talk about the little green eyed monster let's Which talk about that? what's that <laughs> So finished. What's that? How many years have I been in this country for? Huh? Who's a green eyed monster? It's called it's jealousy. It's a saying for jealousy. I'm not British. Have we never heard that before? Please never. tell me you guys have heard that before. Never. And I feel like the biggest thing that stops people from supporting each other, I don't want to say especially within the black community, but the black community is what I am in, is jealousy. And the fact that although they don't mind seeing you on top, they don't want to be left behind. A lot like, of black people want to come up with you, but they don't necessarily, they won't necessarily back it. Yeah. They won't even put the work in for themselves. Exactly. I don't know if you guys know the analogy of the um, the crabs in the bucket. Rather than pushing each other up, as each one is, yeah, as one is going up, they pull each other down. But it's like, imagine if they helped each other, like kind of like ants, because mm. you know, they, they're kind of like a little, yeah. yeah, they all work together and they, they achieve a lot, as like, small as they are. That's the deepest thing about ants. They can carry the biggest things just because their brothers, their sisters, their friends, their cousins, because they have family too. They're helping. <laughs> but They're helping each other. It's an inevitable thing. Even mm. when you're doing well, you're always going to see people that you're jealous of. Yeah. However, if you're in control of that jealousy and use the jealousy and challenge it into a way that you can be productive in a way to enable yourself to get to that same position. That However, is a word. Yeah. However, there are a lot of people, mm -hmm. they don't necessarily hate you or dislike you or want to see you down, mm -hmm. but because you're doing better than them mm -hmm. and they feel offended because they feel like it's your responsibility to pull them along. Right. Bring me in. Yeah. Then they will try and, if anything, just turn a cold shoulder on you when you're trying to make moves and right. that in itself can make um, your journey difficult because essentially sometimes you just need a friend to just believe right. in you. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. Um, and that's it man if you if that friend that I feel like you feel very strongly about this yeah no this, this is a, a all the people that all the people that know <laughs> you guys know if you watch this video you know that I'm talking about you you know if you look my eyes I'm you know so who you are if the shoe is fitting this is size five to ten and true say in the black community like there's one thing that i see a lot and i, I do this actually subconsciously mm -hmm. if you watch x factor for example you see a black person oh she's amazing yeah oh my gosh she's so good uh-huh but I won't pick up the phone to vote for her. So kind of like all talk and no action. Exactly. In the black community, a lot of people don't succeed mm. because we we don't support in where, where it actually matters. Where it actually matters. Yeah. There's this very like weird dynamic where it's like I feel like for me when I started like YouTube, a lot of people didn't understand it as it started to grow. People started to kind of get it. I think because you decided to do something different. Yeah. It's always easier to be a sheep than to be a shepherd. Definitely. Social change re requires collectivism. In other words, people will only do stuff when they see other people doing it. Because when I watch your YouTube, mm -hmm. it's totally different to what I normally see. Mm. Just the setting of it. It's your, your sitting down presenting your show rather yeah. than just YouTube. A YouTube channel, yeah. You get me? Yeah. So that's different in itself. You don't see a lot of YouTubers do that. So one person might be a bit more nervous to back it because it's not what it's not mainstream. It's what, yeah. I, think it is. I feel like people don't know what they like. They, I don't get it because even let me just use a simple analogy because you guys like Twitter. That's it. Twitter. 
follow follow yeah like That's nobody it. finds it fun funny until everybody finds it funny do you I get can tweet something rubbish on because 10 people retweet it everyone i'm not i'm not even keep retweeting me i love you guys why can't we decide what we like for ourselves and support that literally like let's just use like bk chat for an example mm -hmm. excellent platform but do you want to go on anyway without somebody putting something negative on it without someone on the tl making a joke about it or something yeah exactly or without honey yeah the thing about these platforms is when it's relatable. That's why people still keep saying, why do BK chat? Why don't they talk about stuff that's serious? Yeah. But when they talk about stuff that's serious, you don't like their opinions. Yeah, the, the racism, for example. Yeah, there's a certain image you have to present regardless. And it's unfortunate that for people to succeed, they always have to not be themselves wow. as a black person. Yeah? Exactly. And is that because non-black people can now support you? This is Tina. This is New Africa. What's his name? Mm -hmm. Uh, no, the one that, that did that hilarious singing on is it BBC Live? He's Ghanaian. Oh, Fuse. Fuse, yeah. <laughs> just gonna say Tina Tina. Actually, <laughs> to make it sometimes you have to have just conform yeah. to things that are just not your norm. Mm. If you like my hat, thumbs this video, thumbs up. But another reason why I feel like people don't necessarily support things is, is that when you grow, people forget that you still need support. That's why I often feel like you have more haters when you you made it. Mm. Not necessarily. You just mm. have less support to overshadow that. Wow. It's the two on the speed. It's amazing when you have fans. I call my supporters supporters not fans, but just four, so we understand where we're going. Trust me, I love my subscribers. Sometimes it's your family and your friends that you're craving that support from more than anything. Within your family sometimes, that's where jealousy lies the most. Boy. I don't know whether you got, if any of you are Yoruba, yeah, because I'm a fob like that. There's a saying, Kokorotun jefo, idi efo lowa. Lowa. Do you, do you know what that means? No. Wow, when you say you know Yoruba. I'm not that good, I'm not that good. <laughs> I'm Ibo, she thinks I'm Ibo. I can pick up on saying things and she's trying, well, to, hit me, she's trying to hit me with the you deep stuff. You didn't even stuff. get F4. Eh? I can't think right now. What is F4? F4? That's what the F4 soup. <laughs> means the ant that is eating the vegetable is inside the vegetable. That It seems so weak when you say it in English, but basically it's from the inside. And I feel like it's really painful when people start saying really close friends and family, they can never say anything positive about what, what you're doing. They just start saying things like you're, you're changing. Mm. You know, you're, you're gas now. And you're, they make it look like change is a bad thing. You're meant to grow in life. And I feel like that is something I want to put out to you guys that, you know, are starting new projects and stuff like that. Like there's gonna be so many times where you're gonna feel isolated. You need to be your biggest cheerleader. Your own, like it's hard. You need to believe in yourself so much that anything that comes from other people is just extra. And there are down times, trust me. God knows what you need. Always those moments when I'm feeling like, I'm not doing this shit anymore, sorry to swear. But somebody will just message me, one long email. That's true. And I'll just be like, wow, okay, let me, let me push through. Do you know what I find that works for me in terms of, I'll give a brief background. So I'm a sprinter, so I spend probably 95% of I used time. to sprint, you know, guys. Wow. <laughs> I was good. Runners, I'm, I was I'm good. I made our team win in, 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 in secondary school. Yeah, eight. Anyways, because <laughs> I'm training at the track, at the gym, you, you tend to have to be very self motivated. Mm. And I found what worked best for me is um, when I'm back home, as soon as I walk into my room, even outside my door, every single competition I've done, mm. I have every single number on my wall. Mm -hmm. So on top of my desk, I just have everything. Oh, wow. So you have to visualize what you want mm. and it will happen. Mm. If you want to grow a beard, you have to look, I'm going to grow a beard and it will happen. So gone. Listen, put every dream you want to achieve, put it up in front of you. So when you get out of bed, you look look at it and then you know that that is what I'm doing every day mm -hmm. get me faith without works is dead also everything mm -hmm. I'm doing now is for and for me that's when I took every failure as part of my growth mm -hmm. like a stepping stone yeah. yeah but before I used to take failure as a demotivating mm -hmm. factor Where, like last year anybody that has my Instagram they will see every single failure I had I posted it wow regardless if I'm not running my quickest yeah it's not about now you have to think longevity that, that's mm -hmm. that's a key factor because mm -hmm. nothing in this life is immediate. I feel like if you want it to last for a lifetime, it is always worth the wait. Exactly. And it's always worth the process mm. as well. So because when it happens, the emotion, like everything that happens, you will forget how long it took you to get there. Yeah. I'll just say the biggest thing is give it time. Mm. Never rush anything. Because if it, if you rush things it looks poor. Keep God in your life. Yeah. It's essential. If you have God, if you believe in God, keep God. Yeah. If you don't believe in God, that's it. Consistency is a good thing. 
I feel like oh, it's so difficult because I've got so much going on in life but I think being consistent you don't know who's watching you that's just the way I'd say don't publicize it until it's certified mm. so wait for it to actually be actualized because a lot of people like they say oh I'm gonna start a YouTube channel they haven't they even, wait 10 years they haven't even filmed their first video there's one girl you know you are messaging last week <laughs> If you're watching this, you better release that YouTube because you're paying. Even if it's not necessarily a new idea, make it your own. Like That's enough to bring people to watch you. I'd say another tip, just do it. A lot of people are contemplating, I don't have anything, I don't have... I didn't always have a Canon camera, mm -hmm. I didn't always have lights, equipment, stuff like that. My first video, I shot it you know those old laptops with the webcams mm -hmm. that you used to use for don't MSN? Me saying, yes, that bad. I don't. I'm not ready to pull out those videos yet, but for a reason. <laughs> but um, when I'm when I show you guys that you guys, it's it's such a difference, and I feel like I had to start again. Poor quality that I had, but look at me now. Eh, mm -hmm. Look at me now. I shall eh. just improve from this video on. <laughs> Oh, and it's still not perfect. There's worry. always room for growth, and yes, I feel like that's always. that's another one. There's yeah. always room for growth. I like this. I want to do it. Then I did it. Yeah. And that's how it should be. There should. Let's talk about good vibes and happiness. It comes Real quick. with good support. Happiness is something that you have to find within yourself. And mm -hmm. I say this everybody I meet. Yeah. Mm. Don't ever let everybody. the devil steal your joy. That's everybody. My everybody I meet. You didn't tell me that. Yeah. You didn't tell it's me that. Actually, remember that talk we had on the phone? Yeah. I said I paraphrased that. No, you didn't, you didn't paraphrase. No, Mark, uh, mm -hmm. you didn't say that. As in, oh, I just <laughs> you said to me, don't let little things that don't matter bother you. That's paraphrasing. Don't let anything steal your joy. The sheep does not bother the wolf. The wolf will sleep. It's the sheep that is scared of the wolf. I lie. You understand? But it's still gonna die. That's not a very good analogy. It doesn't need to be. You understand what I'm saying? You have to come to a place of happiness in, in where. No matter the circumstance, your happiness can never be depleted to a point where you become a certain type of mindset. Happiness is obviously is an emotion as well, but like love, it's also a decision. So yeah. it's something you choose to do. Good vibes. Good Guys, vibes. let's be happy together. You know, I don't want Aggie. I don't want to fight anybody this no. year, although I've already fought and... That's a, <laughs> I'm a fighter, I'm a lover. Look at his hat. <laughs> Because so I know a lot of people had bad 2016s, but let's just leave it there. Let's just be be happy. Let's just good vibes. I don't know how, how else to describe it, guys. You never sleep angry. That's in the Bible. Yeah. Do you not let the, the, let sun the sun go down on so your the, yeah on your anger. Yes. Or on your, like we'll that. Put it there. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> like, every day is a new opportunity for me to be that light of the world, mm. regardless of what year I'm in. And every time I'm in a dark place, I said this to someone yesterday. Mm. Think of yourself as a seed that's just been planted. Wow. Um, nobody ever looks at it in that perspective. Mm. So a seed has to go into dark for it mm. to find its light. Wow. So at the same time, even whenever you're sad. It's gospel. Oh my god. <sighs> Just <laughs> Jeez, come on. How is it it is important for a seed to go through that mm -hmm. darkness for them to, you know, finally yeah. sprout forth. And every negative part of your life, think of it as you being watered. You might mm. feel like you're drowning, but that's you taking your water. Be happy, mm -hmm. never let nobody steal your joy, uh -huh. support others, uh -huh. and in positions where you're not supported, it's okay to be alone. Yeah. Make moves, baby. Amazing. Get so, me. 2017, the year of support. 2017, the you year of... You meant to say good vibes. <laughs> 2017, the year of support. Good vibes. And happiness. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys like this video. Um, make sure you subscribe to Josiah's channel. We're gonna put it down below. Hello. Okay, make sure you like this video if you liked it. Share it with your friends and also subscribe to my channel for more. Until next time guys, peace and love. Peace and chunks. Peace and chunks, baby. You like saying that. Peace and chunks. <laughs> Come on. Peace. So, what are we talking about today, Josiah? Do you... <laughs> Surprise. Shush, man. Surprise. He doesn't um, know your nose. Where is it? Dry skin. I made it worse. Nose. Sorry. I'm so glad. We don't have time for this, so. I'm just. Wow. You are on a shoot. Please tell them. We'll call please? you later. Oh, people. Yeah. And to be successful. Mm? Oh, so you. Sorry, my toasters. If you just do it, like, the, the fear will still be within you, but. Mm. Nobody, nobody have to know, hear me. But if. <laughs> Good vibes, happiness. Oh, so gone. So, okay. <laughs> Take two. Bye Peace guys. and happiness, trunks. 
support chunks. Stretching it. Okay, all yep, of that. do that. Bam. Yep, all of that, all of that. You already know what it is. It's your boy, Mr. 200, I'm and it's your girl, Mo Chunks. Yes. Don't know. Bye. Come on. Bye.